Hi everyone, today we are going to get some October collective messages, but we're going to get them for just an overall message. We're going to go into love and we're also going into financial. So if that means like new job, um, unexpected money, whatever that means for you. So let's just um, get started on it and we'll pull a couple cards for the beginning and then we'll go into the middle and then the end. So let's get started on the beginning. All right, so it looks like for the beginning, we are doing a lot of self-growth. Um, it's like in the beginning of October, you have made a decision to change or a decision to do something. And it's like you finally have gone within. Um, it's like you are doing everything that you can to go with this decision um, or you are learning something. There's something that you are learning, um, a decision, something that you are deciding to change. So we'll put this right here. Sorry if you hear my baby out there. Yeah. There's that decision. So in the beginning of October, um, it's like you finally figure out what you want. It's like, but you go within. I feel like this has kind of been a little while. You've um, been working towards something, but it's like at the beginning of October, you're like, you know what? I'm going to hunker down and I'm going to do it. It's like something that you're finally going to do because here you are motivated, ready, um, like determined, like you're just ready to make it happen for you. Like you don't care about anything else, anybody else's words. Um, it's like this decision has been made and you're ready to go for it. I'm going to pull one more card. <clears throat> so we have just two more. Wow. Okay. So I feel like, so I love that we have these last two. So I was going to only pull one. So here you are. I feel like um, this hermit coming out and then here you have the two of swords, the indecision, like the two choices, um, the what ifs, like the confusion. Um, maybe you didn't know what path to go down or you didn't even want to go down the path at all. Like where you're finally figuring that out, like you finally figured out you're ready, you um know what path you're choosing, you know which direction you're going, you're going to actually go for it. It's like decided there is no if ands, buts about it, like you're you're ready for it. It's like I'm going and it doesn't matter um, what's said about it. So let's specifically um, pull some cards for financial and we will see what financial has to say for us. And then maybe we can pull um, a special card because I have the cards right here. I'm a message from a loved one towards the end. Um, we'll pull like one for each, the beginning, middle, and end. We'll just pull one card from your loved one. So just uh, try to connect with them now as we're doing uh, the reading, connect with a loved one and see what they have to say. We also did have just a couple cards fly out. So let's see what these cards have to say. So for <clears throat> financially, I feel like right now we're in a stress, like there is a lack, a worry, like there's a back and forth energy. I feel like um, some days you feel like you have uh, like the financial needs or like other days you don't or like maybe you're in like a what ifs at the moment, but like it's it's like you, you're relieving this energy. We're done here, right? Because here you are, we're successful. We have the success coming in. We're finally leaving this um, weary energy, this uncertainty, this uncomfortable. Like, I feel like with this financial coming out, it's like you have been so uncomfortable, um, whatever your financial situation is. If this is for financial, it's like you have been so uncomfortable in the way um, that things have been going. Or like if you're going in a new job direction, it's like whatever it was, it was like so hard for you to make this decision. Um, there was a lot of uncertainty. There was like a lot of back and forth energy, but you're just going for it. And that could have even caused you a little bit of overload, a little bit of stress, like if you could have been working two jobs at one time, and it was like it was a lot for you, or maybe you were working your own job and then doing a personal business on the side, whatever that may be for you, it could have overloaded you, but it's like leading you to the success because here we have it. We have this good news. We have um, whatever it was that you're asking for. Here it is. Like you finally have it. So financially, it's like at the beginning of October where um and even like especially towards job like here you have your new job so i feel like towards the mid um because this is at the end of the beginning so i feel like this is towards the middle of october that you would be having this new job coming in this overload of stress being lifted off your shoulder like you're finally feeling free um like things are just coming into you and it's like you don't have that worry that stress um that like inconsistency anymore it's like finally just being completely lifted off of you so let's <clears throat> let's pull some uh, one card from our loved ones and just see 
what are messages from them for the beginning? Because I feel like for the beginning, it's definitely like um, financially specifically, it's going to be a little bit hard. And then we'll pull some love messages. Oh, let's see. We will light the path, new possibilities for your future. Stay aware. How pretty is that? If you are thinking about going into something new, it's definitely your time. It's definitely like your chance um, to do something like that because it's like they're telling you that there's something new ahead of you, um, whether this be financially, new love, new home, new career. Um, there's something new ahead of you. And I feel like maybe you kind of have like this uncertainty about it. Like, because here it is, I feel like for you, you've had it like lined up for you, right? Like you've had this job, this position, this money lined up. And, and then it's like, it's in your hand and then it's not, or like, um, you have this like good month and then you have this bad month. Like, it's just like back and forth energy. And it's like, we're finally leaving that we're going to finally get out of there. You don't need to have that negativity or that stress about it anymore. Let's pull, um, four cards specifically about love for the beginning of October. Oh, you either, if you are in a current relationship, it is so successful, so happy. It's like some blessing or some um, unexpected good news is coming in. If you are a in or like finding a new relationship, you guys are um, really happy together. It's like a very good relationship. I, I feel like both of you guys um, are like good with your own money, with the wealth coming out. I feel like both of you guys um, are both independent in that way. Um, so like if you've ever had somebody that like needed to rely on you for payment wise or anything like that, it's like no longer that type of situation. Like this person is equal in that financial realm or even is willing to spoil you a little bit. Um, but even like if this is a new connection, like it is so beautiful and existing as well. Like you guys are going into something. There might be something um, coming in for you, whether this be new home, um, a new success of something. But there is something beautiful. You guys might have some unexpected money coming in for you guys. So let's pull some more. Wow, we have the judgment. So there might be um, something coming through for you guys. Wow. And then we have the high priestess. Let's see what the last one is. Okay. Yep. We are putting an end to these energies right here. So we have right now, so you have the judgment and then we have the high priestess. And then um, you, we're putting an end to this fear, this anxiety, this worry, whatever the stress is. So if you're in a current relationship and you go back and forth, or maybe it is like a little weary right now, whatever the situation may be, like we're putting an end to that, that that's no longer um, going to be a thing. We're going to have a good um, month in October with your guys' relationship. There is definitely, I feel like if you guys, um, if you're in a relationship and you guys worried about money with the money coming out right here it's like we're putting an end to that like you guys i feel like there's like unexpected money coming in for the two of you or like an unexpected change um but it's like something that is going to be uh, make you guys comfortable it's gonna last like it's something um that like was truly yours something that belonged to you guys um just coming in and it's really going to help you guys so let's pull um some cards for the middle of October, just some overall messages, and then we'll get into financial and love as well. Um, and then we'll do the same for the end. So we'll just um, keep getting into detail for each. So let's pull some cards for the middle of October. <laughs> Sorry if you hear my baby. Wow, the middle of October, there is a massive change coming in. And I say this, and I will always say this, this is my favorite card because I always think like there is some beautiful change coming in and it's like an exciting change, not, yep, here it is. We have, yep, we're putting an end to these conflicts. I really feel like there is a conflict that has been like bothering you, especially with these first ones, like with the self-discovery. It's like, we're we've made this decision and like in this decision it it makes a massive change it puts an end to this conflict and if this is around financially love um new home new career something like that it's like you guys have so much success in it we have the sun coming out so it's 
something beautiful. Um, like there is a new beginning coming in and we are putting an end to all of that anxiety, all of that fear. Um, <clears throat> I really feel like there was like there, there's something and a lot of the time it could be financial or a job. Like I don't feel like it's like where you don't have enough or whatever. Um, but with this fear and anxiety coming out here too, and then the money coming out here as well, I feel like for you guys, um, partnered or single it's like you guys do have a little bit of conflict around money and we're finally just putting an end to that that there is something new coming in like we're taking burdens off our shoulders we have success we're letting go of all the stress um there is no more like i, I feel like for you there's been like this um like heaviness and it's not like significant where it's like bothering you so much so because it's like a tricky back and forth like it goes back and forth but it's like we're putting it into that. That's like no longer a thing. We have a success. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, there's success in it. So let's pull um, three cards specifically about um, – oh, we already have two. So let's pull one more specifically about finances in the middle of October. Yes. So we are leaving the temporary – hardship. So here's the temporary hardship. This is where um, you were at. We are leaving this energy. Here we are. We are moving on. We are leaving this. There is no longer, um, we're not going to stay in this energy anymore. Like we are out of it. We finally have figured out where um, like, it's like you um, are getting a new job. You are finding your new business. Like you're finding your niche. You have this side thing going on. Maybe you get a new raise. Like there's something going on. Um, and it's like, it's structured, like it's here to stay. You're not gonna, you're guarding it. It's yours. It belongs to you. And it's, it, that's just how it's going to stay. Like you're not taking no for an answer. We're leaving this energy behind. Like you no longer want to stay in that. So let's pull some cards about, so we already have two cards about love. So I feel like, um, for you, you have something new coming in, whether this be, in a current relationship um or if you are in a, a in a current relationship or if you are finding a new relationship because here you are um we have the queen of cups so this is a very emotional um energy we have like a new mother role like um real fast too if you are um in a current relationship or single and you guys are um like you know just like getting uh just special and whatnot be a little careful because here is um new beginnings and this is queen of cups like emotional um stuff like this mother energy so if you guys are not trying to have babies um there's a baby that could possibly come through and then here's the oh. sun um there could be a new baby coming in for you guys but there's definitely a new beginning so for whether you are singled or in a pair there is a new beginning coming in and it's like something that you are happy for um something that you guys work together for, and this is happy. So if this is a new relationship, both of you guys want to be in this relationship. Both of you guys really care about um, like this working out. It's like you guys both um, are like putting that effort in. And if this is a existing relationship, it's like whatever this is that you guys are working on together, or if you guys um, have something new beginning, it's like you guys are both putting in that effort and it's like it, it, it's definitely a 50 50 and i feel like maybe before you haven't like um experienced that 50 50 effort or that 50 50 work and it's finally um like it's here that's that person they're working hand in hand with you so let's pull some cards for the ending of october and see what is going to happen so let's get three cards for the ending of our october it's gonna happen for the end of our october Ooh, we had the world pop out we are completing whatever it is we started at the beginning and we've seen that we discover what we want to do and it's like we are completing that we are celebrating the accomplishments um i don't feel like it's like in full completion but it's like you completed that thought and like we're now in progress we're now doing whatever it was that we wanted to do it's like we're doing it um and it's like decided it and it's in motion like here it is it's circling it's in motion um, and by the end of October, we're not stressed about that anymore. You had that, 
um, motivation that saw at the beginning and you took off with it and you really put your all into it at the beginning. And by the end of October, it's like it's in motion. You completed that um, process and it's going to go for you. You have success in it. So let's pull. So we got one card that flew out. Let's pull one more card and see how the ending is going to end for October. Oh, we love this. Your angels are assisting you and you are being protected through this entire process. So you are being assisted. There is lack or worry or whatever it is for you. You don't need to worry about it because you are being protected. This is um, prepared for you. This path has already been lit up by your angels, your loved ones, um, and your spirit guides. It's like, no, don't second guess. Don't doubt because it's like we have worked. We have lit this path for you. And this is where we want you to go. Um, and this is like anything that you've been working on. So if you have been trying to um, get a house or if you have been trying to get a new job, if you are um, trying, whatever this goal is for you, um, this new life path is for you. It's like your angels have set the light up for you and they're like, no, please walk this path because I promise you it is beautiful. And I have made it um, like the best that it possibly could be for you. So let's pull three cards um, financially and then we'll pull three more for love. Oh, I love that. We got the magician. So there is something magical happening financially for you. Yes, we are moving out of the hardship. Here it is. Calmer waters coming. It's like so magical. I feel like you don't even believe it. Yes, we are having like it's like you are protecting your coins like you are so proud of your hard work you are looking at it you are like yes i did the work for all of that you are so proud of your work there's like you are really working um as far as like changing your financial situation if this is financial and you went into this reading thinking about financial like and there is a new business that you've been working on a new career uh there is a new job coming towards you or maybe you're trying to go into a new job uh, line completely there, there is something around career wise for you and if that was like what you were asking for this reading you, there is something magical um as far as financially coming into you and it it's like it has been a long hardship for you um and you've always made it work but as soon as you um have this like magical um amazing like calm waters like moving into something better like as soon as that happens for you like you put an end to whatever that hardship was for you and you get this new new position you get this um welcoming of new money it's like you are protecting that you have worked really hard for it and it's like you are going to make sure that you continue to go um further in that direction so let's pull some cards specifically about love so we had one fall out oh, okay so we already had our three fall out okay so here we are for love there was some fear and anxiety, whether you be in connection or um, out of connection. I feel like there is some fear and anxiety or maybe some like insecurities. Um, there is some like back and forth. If you guys are trying to move into a house together, um, maybe you guys are trying for a family or maybe uh, you guys are trying to take the next step and make it serious for yourselves. Or maybe you're even willing to, if this is singles, like, and you are trying to get into a new relationship, it's like, there is this worry around it. There's this insecurity. And it's like, you are very resistant. You don't um, want this around. And you're like, no, um, you have like bad feelings towards it, right? But it's like, no, we are moving into this love, um, this comfort. It's like, here we are, it kind of took a while for us. Um, it's like, sorry, hold on. Um, it, it took a little while. It was a little hard for us to get there. Um, whether this be like, maybe you guys have been together for a while. And it's like, you guys um, have been working towards like new things, new steps. And it, it kind of took a while, but it's like you guys have worked together to get to this amazing spot, this happiness. And if this is a single, it's like you have taken a lot, you've worked, you've learned, you've gotten to this spot and you finally are in this, this happiness. You're ready. You're ready for this love, this comfort, this happiness. Um, you're ready to accept something new. You're ready for this relationship. You're ready for this evolution. You're ready um, for this like new thing to come in. So if you 
are coupled or in a relationship, this looks like by the end of October, you are doing really good. Um, whether you are coupled in a relationship and financially, it looks like you are doing pretty amazing as well. So let's close it out. We're going to pull um, two more uh, messages from heaven because I forgot to do a middle and end. So we're going to pull one for the middle and one for the end um, and just see the messages that they have for us. So we're just going to pull two cards. Problems that have held you back are being cleared. We are monitoring them. So in the middle of October, um, know that whatever path it was holding you back, whatever was making you feel insecure, it's being cleared out of the way. That path is now being opened. It's going to flow in like water and you're going to be shocked by how fast it comes in for you. And like we see the magician, it's going to flow so easy and it's going to be magical for you. Sorry if you hear my baby. Find harmony to bring or find a way to bring harmony back into your life one step at a time. So for you, if you are feeling um, unhappy and I feel like for you, this would be like you're feeling a little unhappy or a little worried. They're trying to remind you to remember to always be happy. Do not um, ever like don't steer clear of the path. Remember um, like why you're here or remember like what cleared you or like led you in this direction in the first place, right? Because you wanted something better. You wanted to do, um, you wanted to welcome this love. You wanted to get this new house. You wanted to do this. So keep going that direction, but try to find the happiness in it. Do not forget why you went this way and continue to be happy with your path. So I hope everybody enjoyed their message for October.